हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू नेचुरल स्कूल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू बी लर्निंग अबाउट दिस सॉसेज फैटनर सो दिस इज अ प्लग इन इट्स अ दादा लाइफ प्लग इन एंड लेट्स गो टू द वेबसाइट एंड आई लेट यू नो अबाउट दिस प्लग इन फर्स्ट सो दिस इज द ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट दादा लाइफ डॉट कॉम एंड वे टू गेट दिस प्लग इन इज इफ यू गो एंड गेट दिस प्लग इन फ्रॉम हेयर क्लिक ऑन प्लग इन एंड देन हेयर इज द प्लग इन एंड यू विल हैव टू बाई इट सो इट्स नॉट फ्री सो एंड इट्स नॉट इवन दैट एक्सपेंसिव एंड आई थिंक इट्स थर्टी बर्ग्स थर्टी डॉलर्स थर्टी नाइन डॉलर्स सो then you will get a file and you can install it in your pc or or mac whatever you using it works with different doors uh so what this fatner does the fatner it's basically it's a secret plugin i would say it's a plugin that uh it boosts the bass the fatness of the sound it fattens it up and if like you see it's a very quite funny uh, this artistic character and it changes its face as we change the percentage of fatness or color so let's do an experiment let's put it let's put this sausage fatner to use now so first of all let me choose a scale i'll go for d minor d sharp minor and then this was i have already uh, this is these are from the apple loops already found this one let me, let me play this it's quite bassy so we will use this one we'll bring it to our timeline we'll create a new track for this and it's a very good bassy loop uh, given in the apple loops so so now let's go ahead and apply this sausage fatness so if you have already installed the plugin this dada life you bought it and you have installed it then it will be in the audio units dada life sausage fatner and go to the stereo settings and it's on so i'll just add so let's just play it on a loop and see what this fatness if we increase the what it does to the sound the bass you can use it on a kick as well or your bass guitar your bass tracks uh, and uh, kick for the kicks also it works really pretty pretty good and it's basically it bits basically boosts the uh, the fatness the bass and uh, the best part is so you can boost the bass from here you can increase it you can add a compressor you can eq the bass uh, but it will start clipping you if you see it it will it won't be that balance it's clipping it's, it's 0.6 but with this so that's the secret about this keep it minus 3 and just add we'll just play and add it see how much it's just 20% of fatness makes a lot of difference and it doesn't even affect the uh the volume the db it it makes it fat and but doesn't make it loud so that the track the overall project remains balanced so if we even uh, let me just cut the high notes so that we can concentrate so 
guys uh, let's listen to it again let's put it to zero and I'll just increase the fatness as we play If you add like 15% or like not that much then it won't affect that but if you increase it here but it, it won't make it fat see if we just increase the volume or just add some compressor it will just clip it up and it sounds just too low here we are using like minus 3 dB and just adding 15% of fatness and then So it's not even clipping red and let's add some color to it it just brightens up uh, uh, you can use it or you can just keep it zero you don't have to use this gain it depends upon you uh, but I would uh, if you want to put some gain you can use the channel EQ gain or the compressor gain so this is what about sausage fatner like it's a really uh, like recommended plugin for boosting your bass i've been using this plugin in a lot of my songs uh, to treat my bass to design my bass uh, in like in my songs like if uh, i've even used it on like on a muted bass guitar on a kick or on a like synth b bass like this one so it depends <coughs> where you want to use it but for like the best secret that professionals use one of those is sausage fattener like it's really good and if you don't have like big budget and you have professional uh, projects in your hand and you want to add some really good bass to your tracks I would suggest you should go for sausage fattener by Dada Life so that's it guys uh don't forget to like comment share and hit the hit the bell icon and you can even leave a comment if you have any questions about this this plugin or anything else related to uh, music production especially in logic pro x so thank you guys